YouTube, it's Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to another Getting to Know Me. So today's uh, Getting to Know Me is going to start off with number 636. What's your favorite mythical creature beginning with the letter U? Well, I believe the only one of those that exists is a unicorn. What's your favorite alcoholic drink beginning with the letter V? Vodka. What's your favorite cartoon character beginning with the letter W? Woody Woodpecker. What's your favorite word beginning with the letter X? Xylophone. What's your favorite city beginning with the letter Y? Uh, your Belinda. What's your favorite country beginning with the letter Z? Zimbabwe, I have no idea. <laughs> Do you get seasick? Um, only once have I ever gotten seasick, but other than that, no. If you discovered a new species of dinosaur, what would you call it? Galator. <laughs> uh, do you own a paddling, paddling pool? I don't think so. If it's like a little pool for kids, then no. What do you consider is the most important piece of furniture in a house? Um, definitely a bed. What do you consider is the most important appliance in a house? A toilet. If you could have any, any celebrity's hair, who would it be? Ooh, Shakira's hair. I would love Shakira's hair. Which celebrity do you find the most annoying? Eh, I don't think that's a really fair thing to say, but if I had to pick one celebrity? No offense to any Keanu Reeves fans out there, but I feel like his movies are very repetitive, if that makes any sense. I respect the man. He's I respect the man as a person. Just, his movies are kind of just repetitive. What potential talents do you think you might have if you worked at them? Definitely playing piano or playing guitar. Who was better, Flipper, Lassie, or Skippy? I have no idea who those are. If you could be trained up in any profession of your choice by top professionals, what profession would you choose? Either writing or um, psychology. If someone else's child was being an annoying little runt, would you go tell them off or do something about it? Neither. I feel like it's their child and what they do is on them. Do you believe in karma? Yes. Do you believe in revenge? Uh, depends on the situation. Do you believe in fairies? Sure, I think it's possible. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you believe there used to be dragons? Sure, why not? Who would you want to be with on a desert island? Um, probably MacGyver. <laughs> What's the worst show on television? Anything that involves the Kardashians. Who's your favorite god from ancient history? Um, god, I would have to say Poseidon. What one device would you want to see added to a mobile phone? Oh, there's been a lot already. Um, probably an app for those that are like antisocial. Like, I get there's texting and all that, but I feel like there needs to be an app for antisocial people where like you can hit the button and it kind of like turns off your phone for a certain amount of time and then turns it back on after a while to help you still be social. I know you could probably do that just by turning off your phone or putting it on do not disturb mode, but I feel like that needs to kind of just be a thing. Where do you see yourself in one month's time? Still doing this, stuck at home. Where do you see yourself in one year's time? Definitely getting ahead in Disney. Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Married and in my own house. What was the best thing about your old school? Well, there was a few things. If by old school you mean like the last school I went to, which would have been Fullerton Junior College, I love the atmosphere and the environment. And if it wasn't for the fact that my parents were paying for my college, I would have continued to stay. Not to mention things were kind of rough around the house, so I had to just be there for them, you know what I mean? What was the worst thing about your old school? Ah, uh, the money. If you could change your name to anything, what would your new name be? I would definitely change it to Skelita and then have everyone just call me Skelly. Do you watch too much TV? I don't think so. Have you ever planted a tree? No. What's the heaviest thing you can lift? My boyfriend, hubby, with my legs. <laughs> what was the last present you received? Uh, I think it was a pop from Harley Baby's hubby. Are your ears lobed or attached? Uh, they're lobed. How often do you wash your ears? Every day. Could you go out with someone who had a child from a previous relationship? Yeah. What was your first alcoholic drink? A Malibu and Diet Coke. What was your first job? Target. What was your first car? Uh, it was a 2004 Ford Escape. What was your first mobile phone? It was a flip phone from like, oh, no, 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 how old am I, 22? 
from like 13 years ago. <laughs> what was your first proper memory? That would have to be actually when I was two. We went to Mexico and ended up getting hit in the noggin with a tin can and I got a welt from it. Who was your first teacher? That would have been my preschool teacher, Miss Lupe. Where did you go on your first ride on an airplane? That was, I believe, to Mexico. Who was your first best friend? That was my friend, right? No, my friend Samantha, because I met her when we were three. What was your first detention for? Uh, something stupid in middle school. I think it was, oh, no, no, no. It was in high school. I got detention for not bringing my PE clothes. What was your strongest voluntary muscle? My strongest voluntary muscle is probably my thighs. Who was your first kiss? My third grade boyfriend, Dylan. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, back up. No, he was my first boyfriend. My first ever kiss, I was eight years old, and it was from one of the kids in my neighborhood. What was the first film you remember seeing at the cinema? Monsters, Inc.? What thing that you've made are you most proud of? Probably my writing, my books, definitely. Could you ever be someone's bodyguard? No. Michelangelo's David, masterpiece or filth? Masterpiece. Do you like other people buying you clothes? Um, yes, you just have to know my size. Have you ever brought a present for someone that they hated slash disliked? Nope, I know everyone very well, so the gifts I get them are great. What nicknames do you have slash have had? All right, my nicknames include Skelly, Mandy, Mans, and I think that's it. Yeah, those are the only three. If any of you who watch me know me and know other nicknames I've been called, please remind me. Oh, Manda Panda, that's another one. Do you have, did you have any pretend or imaginary friends? Yes, I had two. Have you ever seen a therapist slash shrink? No. Have you ever carved a pumpkin? Yes. Would you say you're a good or bad influence to others? Probably not the best influence, but I want to be a good influence, especially if I want to have kids. Do you prefer giving or receiving gifts slash help? I prefer giving. If you were a member of Spice Girls, what would your spice handle be? I'm assuming that would be my name, so I guess, I don't know. Um, sugar? <laughs> if you were to become a famous singer, what would your debut album be called? Chilled to the Bone. If you could join any music group, which would you want to join? In Sync. <laughs> oh no no. Either In Sync or Fallout Boy. Oh my god, my boys, my boys, I love you. What do your parents do? My father works at an electrical company and my mother is a nurse. If you were a giant mega monster, what city would you rampage? Mm, let's go old school and go to Hong Kong. <laughs> That's not a city, is it? Somewhere in Asia. Where did Godzilla go. I'll go there. Did you ever have a treehouse as a kid? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Going back to 702. I would do what Stitch did and like rampage through San Francisco. We bought a, a San Francisco Lego set and when I grabbed it, I showed it to Elise and he went, wow, San Francisco. Is your dad an embarrassing dancer? No, he's actually very good. Do you plan to vote in the next election? Yes, I do. If you could replace one body part with a super bionic replacement, what body part and what features would the new bionic replacement have? I would probably replace my arms to make them stronger, like have them like metal and steel and have like weapons in them like guns and knives and crap and like a flamethrower, it'd be really cool. What, if any unusual objects, have you swallowed? I think once I swallowed like a metal ball, but I don't think I've swallowed anything that weird. When you buy something new, do you get a desire to use slash play with it even when they don't have any physical application yet? Yeah, I mean, I, I tend to get very excited when I buy new things. Did you understand the Matrix trilogy? Never seen it. Would you rather be the fella in a movie who gets the girl or the baddie with all the good lines? Ooh, I think I'd rather be the baddie with all the good lines. Or, mm, I have a thing for bad boys. If you see hubby, like when he's all dolled up, he looks like a bad boy. If you were stinking rich, would you only go to places other rich people went? No, I'd go anywhere. Just I wouldn't flaunt my money. Would you rather have a man's top half or a woman and a woman's bottom half, bottom half or vice versa? I'd rather have a man's 
top half and a woman's bottom half because then I wouldn't have to worry about my balls being compressed by pants. Rebound relationships, good or bad? Definitely bad. Have you ever owned a slinky? Yes. Teenage parents, good or bad? Good, bad, or indifferent? Definitely bad. What's the most expensive thing you've ever broken? Truth be told, I don't recall breaking anything other than maybe my own jewelry because it was kind of cheap, but pirate downloads, good or bad? Definitely bad. Democracy, good or bad? I guess good. Communism, good or bad? Never really had an opinion. Because I don't know enough about these things to actually have an opinion, and I don't want to say something that seems ignorant. Have you ever been electrocuted? No. Have you ever been attacked with a cream, creamy bakery product? No. Have you ever shone a sheep? I'm assuming they mean like sheared one and no, I haven't. Have you ever accidentally set fire to yourself? No. Have you ever eaten a whole tube of Pringles by yourself? No, I don't really like Pringles. Have you ever been hit on by someone of the same gender? Yes. The war in Iraq, good or bad? I'm not gonna answer that because I don't like war either way. The war in Afghanistan, good or bad? Again, I don't like war. Have you ever appeared on YouTube? Hello. <laughs> Have you ever performed in front of a large audience? Yes, I uh, sang. And I've also uh, played violin and clarinet. Have you ever eaten anything prepared by a celebrity chef? No. Have you ever been on a radio? Yes, I was on Radio Disney during the talent shows. Did your school make a tea towel that everyone submitted to? No. We, what we did in elementary school though is we had this wall where we could each paint a tile and they would stick it on there and then like the next year it would get replaced and then we'd, we'd get the tile back. I think we got the tile back. What color slash style was your school tie? We never had one, but I'm a Hufflepuff, so the Hufflepuff color is yellow and black. Do you have to wear glasses? Hello. <laughs> Do you bite your nails? Hell no, I hate that habit. Do you prefer male or female singer voices? Uh, male, usually male. Would you rather be the world's greatest football player or lover? Ooh, let's be the world's greatest lover. Do you get hay fever? No. Do you have a list of things to do before you're a certain amount of years old? Yeah, I've had set goals for myself. I wanted to um, be engaged at this point, but I'm not. I wanted to be married by 24, we'll see how that goes. I want to have my first kid at 28 and my second kid at 30. Do you like your age? Yeah, I like being 22. What's your favorite physical thing you like about yourself? My thighs. Definitely my thighs. What's your least favorite physical thing you like about yourself? I'm assuming this means like, what's your least favorite physical thing about you and my tummy. Are you proud, comfortable, or ashamed of your body? I am ashamed of what I have let myself become. What's your favorite personality trait you like about yourself? I'd like to say I know how to stand my ground. What's your least favorite personality trait you like about yourself? My fuse is about that big. Do you know HTML? No. I mean, that sounds like a website, but I don't know how to like program a website. All right, guys, and that is it for today's Getting to Know Me. It looks like we are actually almost done with these guys. I know 770 to 7077 don't have questions so we're gonna skip those next time we come to this but I think the next one might actually be the last getting to know me guys I can't believe this playlist is almost over it's crazy if I find anything else that I could do for this I am definitely going to do it because I don't want this playlist to end I just may have to end up doing a different website so uh, when we come back guys the next question I'm going to be answering is 747 so thank you all so much for watching bye little skeletons stay safe I love you guys